This building that Atlas is in is over 100 years old and it's been built by the same stone as the castle has been built. So since 1943, Atlas has been going on it's been well known amongst the community. We import spices from India, so we buy the spices home. We have it grounded here locally and we ground enough so that it can remain fresh. The fragrance, the aroma of the spices is there. We get it here, we pack it. And according to our customers, our spices are pure. Bukap is a unique place. In, in the early, early years, there were the slaves that came from Indonesia, Malaysia. So they came with their culture. The Indians came with their culture. Those two cultures are totally different. And what happened to those two cultures came together as one. We have nine mosques here, and also the first question that comes to mind is the color houses. During apartheid years, the people didn't own the homes, and when they did, immediately they painted them, and that's still today. So I've been doing this for 10 years, the Bull Carp Cooking Tour, teaching people to cook Cape Malay food. You know, the tradition of Cape Malay food has been kept very much the same. There is no stocks in it, it's the basic onion, tomato, masala. I have to like stand behind their back, teach them to fold the samosa, and the interesting one is the roti. It twirls like a hair bun, you know, twirl it this way, twirl it that way, slap it together, and it, that, that creates fun. It's a beautiful way to meet people from all over the world. Isn't that great? I'm the owner of Roxel Shoe and Bag Repairs. My grandfather was a pioneer. District 6 and Buka was all connected. A lot of people were taken away, and uh, that was a disaster. It was vibrant. We community, although we were all mixed community, and in front of our shop wasn't a, a tard or anything like that. So we used to play marbles there. In a the road, we used to play cricket. For the past uh, 55 years, I'm in a workshop. I uh, love the workshop as a challenging all the time. It's a different work daily. I don't have to have a rest, but when I'm in an office, I feel I need a 15 minutes uh, uh, nap. <laughs> I play for SK Omos. Uh, my position is a lock. All my life I've been staying in work up. I was born here, and I don't think I'll even move from here. Most of the generation here yeah, in Borka, their fathers played. Fathers before their fathers played rugby. I've got like, about, probably about 200 and something caps playing for SK Warmers. It brings a lot of children away from crime. And so now when they're playing rugby, it's, it's something for them to do, man. They can see it's more of a community like this thing on the street. The Borka community loves the rugby here. Yeah. It's very big. On the day doing well, they'll shout for you, my man. You'll hear it while you play. Yeah, it's big here. Yeah. If you do anything bad, you will hear it for the rest of the week for your next game. <laughs> they are biggest fans, the old tallies. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tight foot community, so everybody knows each other, yeah? No matter where you stay in book up, you'll know who's Mankiba started in the year 2000. We were born in the Boer Cup. We hold workshops, um, we have teachers in certain areas of, of the townships. We're trying to revive the art of beadwork. doing beadwork art with approximately between 280 and 320 women in and around Cape Town, and with some of them um, coming from the Eastern Cape. We use all sorts of lovely funky colors, and we're doing it onto a 3D surface. But the technique of our beading is still the needle and thread and beads. It's a very advanced form of, of pattern making. We create a platform for our crafters to become artists within their own right. The Boer Cup is so colorful and is a place of great historical value to, to Cape Town. There is so much richness in that area. It attracts the youngsters who are opening new businesses or anyone who's opening a new business. Cape Town is just this melting pot of incredible talent. I think it just bleeds from all the way through Cape Town. It bleeds up into the Boer Cup as well. <laughs>